What up, guys? About to head to the gym Saturday, December 28th. Um, it's like 8 in the evening. Yeah, so I've actually finished eating all my food for the day, and I'm just now going to the gym. I have to do legs and then some cardio. So I'm going to go knock this out um, and then get to bed for the night. Some more traveling tomorrow, our last um, festivity for the Christmas season. But I decided to do something a little bit different with my pre-workout tonight. Um, as you guys know, I've been using the Pump Extreme, one scoop of that, and then one scoop of the Beta Creep, both sent to me by Premier to try out, um, or by the reps, not the company, but the reps on bodybuilding.com. I'm going to try a scoop and a half of the Pump Extreme and a half a scoop of the Beta Creep. So caffeine-wise, it's still 400 milligrams, so that's no change. Um, just a little bit different mixture of all the other ingredients. I'm just going to see how I respond to that, see if it's any different at all. Um, just going to start trying stuff a little bit different with it so I can talk about it a little bit better in my log I'm running for them. So I'm going to try that out. I'm sure it'll still taste the same. And then we get to the gym and knock out this workout. Phone check, phone check. Uh, yes, Monday, December 30th. Um, just got up like an hour ago. Um, <laughs> it's noon, but yeah, that's not important. Um, yeah, you hear that in the background, sorry about that, it's my window wipers. I'm trying to get a little bit off, more ice off my window. Driving into the parking lot here. Uh, yeah, I'm heading to the gym. Um, 
full body day. Uh, I talked to Jeff and we are going to tweak it just a little bit. I'd like to have a little bit more volume since I'm not trying to hit real maxes. I'm just kind of hitting, um, you know, 90-ish percent or so. And so I don't want to do just like one single and then that'd be my workout, you know. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the, the training max and then based on how I'm feeling, do some back off sets. You know, three to five sets of three to five reps. After dropping, you know, 10% or so of the weight, we'll just see how I feel from there. Um, and every day will just be, as far as the, um, every day as far as the mock meat will just be, um, auto, auto regulated. So, it should work out well and I'll get a little bit more volume in there too, which would be nice. Um, hopefully that fan isn't too fucking loud. If it is, when I check this video, I'm sorry. Um, so yesterday... Guys, I don't know where my head's been at lately. Like, I've been... I've been struggling, to say the least. Um, and it's not because of the diet or anything. It's... I feel like recently I've been losing focus of, you know, what I want to do. Like, of, like, why I'm on a restricted caloric number and on restricted macros and why I'm competing. And it's just... And because I'm questioning stuff and because I feel like... I've been feeling like I'm behind, like, um, I'm planning to do this show on February 15th, and I'm really, realistically, if I do this show, I won't be where I want to be on stage, and I know that now, that, like, it's getting closer, I'm seeing realistically what I have to lose, and it's just, it's starting to, it, it's been messing with me this week, guys, um, and, like, like, last night, for example, I, um, blew up my macros again. To be honest, I, I fucked up there. Uh, I had a plan to where I wouldn't, because um, I was going to dinner with Melissa's family out in Ohio, and you know I had um, I'd taken some food with me, and I'd left the bulk of my macros for this one meal. Um, and so all I had to do was you know make the smarter choices with the meats and vegetables, which I did at first, um, and forgo, uh, for, for go, wow, forgo, um, you know like all the desserts and. Uh, the appetizer, like the, um, the primavera and stuff like that. So I, uh, I had a plan, and I knew that it was a good plan. I knew it was it was practical in a sense to where they wouldn't see it as me being super restrictive. I would still be able to enjoy it, and I'd, I'd have some good food and stay on my numbers. But I don't know. Um, I just began to rationalize with myself. Like I could have one bite of this, or just one piece of that, or. I a spoonful of this, and the next thing you know, you blew up your fucking macros. Um, so last night, I was kind of pretty hard on myself about that. For one, I was freaking sick to my stomach last night because I, um... Go ahead, buddy. Um, anyway, I got kind of sick because I, had, I ended up having some ice cream. And it was like regular ice cream. Um, frozen yogurt doesn't seem to bother me. The regular ice cream destroys my stomach because um, I have a slight issue with lactose. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't just like the calorie choices that were bad. Like I know I have an issue with that, and I had it. So I don't, I, I don't know what was going on with me, guys. And on the car ride home, I just like had my headphones in. And I just kept playing through it in my head. And I just... I couldn't... It just didn't make sense because I usually... I'm usually very strong-willed. And I, I have no issue with, like, embracing the suck, as we say in the military, you know? Um, and just dealing with stuff. And I, I just... I didn't yesterday. It was... I don't know. I, I don't feel like it was as bad of a binge as my Christmas day one, um, but it was bad, and it was, you know, a couple, of, four days later, so, uh, I, I mean, I, I, t I texted Jeff last night and explained it all to him, and I think he could tell that I was a little upset with myself, because his messages back were pretty easy on me, I, I expected him, like, because he's not just my coach, we're friends, and I expected him to be like, dude, what the fuck, um, but he wasn't, you know, he told me, he said, you know what, view 
it the week as a diet break because let's be realistic you average out those calories and it was there's no way I was in a caloric deficit this past week so there's that um so look at it as a diet break and you know a means to refresh yourself and then come into this next week and from here on hit your numbers press forward um yeah, so, so I mean, that's that's what I'm going to do. I, I spent some time this morning just kind of reflecting on it all and, like, why I am why I decided to do a show and why I'm dieting. You know, I might do a video on that at some point or talk about it at some point, so um, we'll see. But, you know, I, I have my reasons for it. Um, it wasn't, like wasn't just to get like, oh man, let's get lean, let's look good, um, I mean, yeah, clearly that's part of it, but there was a lot that went into me deciding I wanted to, um, take the steps to compete, so, uh, that's what I've been trying to focus on this morning, and, um, it's really helped, like, I feel, I feel much more clear, so, hopefully I can, I can keep that, and I can keep, you know, um, the motivation that I feel today, because I, um, I feel good. I feel like I, 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 I don't even know how to say I have that sense of certainty back um, where I know what I'm doing. Um, I do have some minor details to figure out as far as the show itself, um, which I'll probably talk about in the next video, but um, as far as like dieting, hitting my macros, pushing it into the gym. Um, you know, this is my choice, uh, and I think that's one thing that I was starting to lose sight of, is I made the choice to do this. I had a goal, um, and I lost sight of it for a little while, to be honest, and I just I started slipping up. So, I mean, hopefully, I'm not, not hopefully, I am. I am going to get back on top of it. Um, I even talked to Melissa, and I was like, you see me slipping, but get on my ass. Like, and she was like... She did the typical girlfriend, like, I, I don't want to get mad at you, like, I don't want to tell you you can't have stuff, and I'm like, you tell me I can't have that. <laughs> like, if you see that I'm being weak, you say something about it, you know? So, I don't know, I, today I feel much better, um, mentally. Physically, I think I'm getting a cold. Mentally, I feel much better, so... I mean, that's that, guys. I just got to the gym, um, so I just rambled on for about nine minutes, so I'm sure that'll make this a fairly long video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I to sum up what I just said into a shorter period this past week, I mean, I, I fucked up. <laughs> I, I blew up my macros twice, um, but I mean... You know, I, as, um, I saw this in a video earlier today, and it's probably like the third time I watched this video, um, it's a Jeff Alberts video, and he talks about keeping the goal the goal, sucking shit up and pushing forward, um, and, you know, that really, like, resonates with me because of, you know, how I've been feeling this week, and knowing that I lost track of why I decided to diet down, why I decided to, um, prep, why, you know, I, um, I don't go out and get pizza, <laughs> like, I want to go out and get pizza, like, you know, why I, I, even though I have much more flexibility in my diet than a lot of people out there, why I still have to have points where I'm strict and, you know, set numbers that I shouldn't exceed, and, how it all plays into the big picture of accomplishing my goal. So, it was good to see that video today, and I'll actually, I'll link that video in the description box if you guys haven't seen it. Um, I'm sure if you've seen my videos, you've seen that though, since there's like, I don't know, being that the only people that watch my videos are my parents, and a couple friends, maybe you guys haven't seen this. Uh, but anyway, I'll link that video because it's a good video. But yeah, so this week, this past week hasn't been the best, um, but today I feel I feel good, I feel refocused, so 
I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna hit up this workout and just keep grinding from here. I uh, I would say I don't know, shredded glutes by Showdown. That's what I want. Shredded glutes. Squish.